What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam whatsoever. You're gonna get haunted by a very angry ghost. Yeah that's right I found a ghost named Casper. Turns out he's a big fan of the videos and he told me that if you didn't press the like button he was gonna haunt you so uh I wouldn't take chances. Real talk though guys today we have a pretty scary story that was sent into my DMs about somebody who uh basically caught some Someone trying to break into their house which as far as terrifying goes is pretty high up there they are okay they told me that everything's been solved now they don't worry about it anymore but it definitely was uh, a pretty insane situation and it should be pretty entertaining for you guys so without further ado let's get right into it it's absurd I'm getting to the bag now little mama and she trying to call me dad now I don't want to hear no dumb shit better all right, guys, so I'm going to keep it a buck. I personally just, uh, the idea of someone breaking into my house is honestly one of my biggest fears, all right, especially while I'm sleeping. I don't know. The idea of someone walking in and just watching me sleep does not get my jimmies rustled in a fun way. Regardless, this person sent in the story, and it basically opens up with something about how her and her boyfriend live together, but he works the night shift, which, you know, is just how some horror movies start. You got the girl home alone at night, and some creepy dude is like, I know her boyfriend works work the night shift I go and I kidnap regardless she spends most nights alone because her boyfriend is working and uh, you know if he's working it's not like she has a slumber party every single night on a Tuesday that being said she had never had any problems in the house or the apartment that they lived in in terms of like people breaking in or being scared at night she thought she was in a pretty safe place so even though her boyfriend would work at night she just never really thought much about it it never really crossed her mind that it was potentially a dangerous situation that being said, uh, you know, it's definitely not fun to be home alone. And one night, everything's going pretty normally. She makes dinner, cleans it up, everything's going to good. She goes to bed, and they had just gotten a puppy. And in the middle of the night, the puppy is just whining in the living room. And it's not a usually whiny dog. Like, it's not like this happens relatively often. This uh, wasn't the type of dogs that's always just sitting in your backyard like... Like this puppy very rarely made noise So she thought maybe the puppy just had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night Or you know that there was something kind of uh, bugging it Maybe there was a light on or something was making a noise But she just figures that there's something that's got the puppy a little bit distracted So she goes out in the living room and remember she's just woken up So she's a little foggy and uh, she sees that the puppy is looking at the back door So she assumes that the puppy has to go outside and go pee Because I don't know about you but if I woke up in the middle of the night and my dog was was whining staring at the back door that would be most people's first thought so something about her just makes the hair stick up on her neck she suddenly just gets really nervous and for whatever reason is just like something's not right so she starts paying closer attention and she realizes that the puppy is like whimpering at the door like it's scared not like it needs to go outside and whining but it's more of a whimper and then she hears this weird like scratching and clicking sound coming from the back door and uh, I guess the way they had a back door is it wasn't like a French door or a sliding door it was just like a normal door so she hears like scratching on the other side of the door and she assumes it's like a raccoon or something so she kind of like walks over to the door and kind of like looks and they had this window that had this like awning on it type of thing where it was opaque like you could kind of see through it from the inside but people couldn't see uh, back in as well so she like walks over and kind of just looks just to see if she can see the shape of anything is it a raccoon just messing with the dog or whatever because stranger things have happened all right like you know a coyote is in your backyard trying to eat your dog so your dog gets scared there might be a logical explanation but when she goes over and looks out the window she sees the silhouette of somebody standing there like standing there fiddling with the lock on the door so she immediately starts freaking out and is like oh my god someone's starting to get into the house so she grabs the dog and turns around and when she turns around she realizes that there's a second person standing in the living room window and like it's pretty dark so she can't see any features which makes it even creepier it's just this shadowy figure standing in front of her living room window looking in and I guess her and her boyfriend had just moved in so there's like no blinds so 100% the guy can see her like holding the dog and his friend is trying to break in the back door so obviously they're just standing there 
and she's getting terrified because this dude sees this girl in the house and instead of like telling his friend to escape and whatnot he's just still standing in the window and that is terrifying dude if you catch somebody staring into your window at night and they keep staring that's some 911 get out of their behavior please like i ah like this is making me scared and i'm not even there okay so she grabs the puppy and like runs into the bathroom and locks the door and is like oh shit balls oh no oh no she calls the cops and uh, is out of sight in the bathroom. She has the door locked and she's waiting for somebody to come. And the first person she ended up calling was her dad because I guess her boyfriend who works night shift worked at some place where, you know, he wouldn't have been easy to get a hold of. I don't know if he didn't have service or couldn't take his phone with him or what, but like for whatever reason, he's going to get to be a hard to get a hold of. So she calls the cops and then she calls her dad and she's like sitting in the bathroom terrified and she hears people walking around the house. Like I guess they had rocks on the house or around, around the house. So she can hear like footsteps in the rocks kind of walking around the house. And the worst part is it wasn't one of these situations where like they were walking around the walks trying to or rocks trying to leave. They're like just walking around the house almost as if they're looking for another way in. So she is just hearing these people walk around their house and she had called her dad and her dad's on the phone and he's on the way over because I guess they had lived pretty close. So her parents show up before the cops and at this point they had left. She doesn't know exactly when she stopped hearing footsteps in the rocks but by the time her dad shows up you know the guys are gone and so the dad comes in and he starts like trying to calm down his daughter because obviously someone was just trying to break into the house and that's terrifying. The neighbors who had lived across the street didn't actually like see who the people were but they did see a car leaving and honestly just a terrifying situation regardless the police are like yeah I wouldn't spend the night here because your boyfriend doesn't get off till 7 a.m. so she goes and she spends the night at her parents house which is honestly probably the best bet after creepy dudes just tried to break into your house saw you and then kept trying to break in like I guess it would be one thing if you saw someone trying to break into your house and were like I'm home and then they ran away but you know the fact that they knew she was in there and just straight up didn't care is terrifying like that's not someone trying to just steal some tv to buy some meth that's uh that's a criminal anyways that night she spends the night at her parents and the next morning her boyfriend comes over and is like oh my god are you okay and they decide to go back to the house so they go back to the house and start just like looking around looking at everything obviously because uh, they don't really know if they had broken anything and so the back door had like all these scratches near the lock where they had been trying to break in and sure enough the top basement window was like partially kicked in it looked like somebody had kicked it to try to break it but uh, it was too small for somebody to crawl through anyway. So they had broken that window to try to get in. Like, these people were trying to break in for a while. So I'm going to be honest, this is just more evidence that you should have a dog. Like, if that puppy wouldn't have been whimpering and waking her up, who knows what could have happened. She says after seeing that uh, basement window that they immediately called the cops. Or not the cops, the security company and got a security system installed the next day. And uh, yeah. You know, I I'm gonna be honest, I got a security system, not because I necessarily think it's gonna stop someone from breaking in, but it's more for just, like, my peace of mind, you know? That way, if somebody breaks a window, there's an alarm going off, and I don't have to just see someone staring through my living room window, like, just like, hi! What a crazy situation, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I read that there was a guy standing in the front window just staring at her, my heart just starts to race because that sounds absolutely terrifying. She is okay now. The police never found out who it was, though. That's the only real terrifying part. They've never come back, though, so she doesn't really know what the deal was with the dude kind of standing there staring, but maybe he was just scared and didn't know what to do because he's never robbed a house before, I guess. Who knows, dude? I'm, I'm not an expert. I don't do home invasion. That's not my thing. I just make YouTube videos. Regardless, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button, comment down below, and subscribe with notifications on. Get yourself some of the OG Sub Club merch and use code Scrubby at the G Fuel checkout for uh, a little bit of a discount. Other than that, I really appreciate all the support, and if you want to check out the intro song, a link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.